Both a Miami-Dade officer and his canine were hurt in a nasty wreck on the turnpike. We're live at the hospital. Plus, there's a lot of monkeypox misinformation out there. Tonight, a local disease expert explains exactly how the virus spreads. And the dust will begin to clear the next few days. we got another dry day for tomorrow. Then the storms return Friday into the weekend. We'll time it out next. This is CBS 4 News Tonight. A Miami-Dade police officer is recovering in the hospital tonight after being involved in a car crash on the Florida Turnpike. Chopper 4 over the scene. It shows the extensive damage left behind. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola joins us live from Jackson Memorial. That's where the officer is tonight. Gabby, what can you tell us? That's right. Well, it was a very scary moment. A veteran detective got into a horrific crash, and the result is nothing short of terrifying. When you get that call, your heart stops. Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez described the scene that happened at around 3 o'clock today. He says a 17-year detective and his canine were responding to a call driving northbound on the turnpike when they suddenly crashed with a large car and they rolled over several times. It's like your own family and you worry right away for his condition and you drive everybody crazy to find out how he's doing while he's getting here to the hospital. You can see debris went everywhere. Both lanes were shut down for hours. Hours, making traffic back up for miles. Now the detective was taken to Ryder Trauma and his dog named Fox was treated as well. Today, dozens of officers showed up to support their fellow teammate. Many staying for hours until they received the good news that both the detective and his pup are expected to be okay. He's conscious, alert, and in good spirits. Truly, truly a miracle tonight. Now, it's unclear how this accident even happened. It's still currently under investigation, but we do know that everyone involved in that crash is cooperating. In Miami, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS 4 News, tonight.